So I'm here with Alexis, who um, got connected with Elizabeth House just this year in 2023. Before I came here, um, I was coming out of an abusive relationship with my baby's father. Um, I found out I was pregnant. Um, I did try to work things out with him, but it wasn't working. And all I could think was, I have this baby that's relying on me and depending on me. What am I going to do? Um, I didn't even know that there were programs or resources out there like Elizabeth's house. Mm -hmm. um, I just know that I begin to call around shelters and I'm very spiritual and very in tune with God. So I prayed and I asked them to lead me to a shelter. I didn't even know there was such a thing as maternity shelter. Right. Yeah. I just knew that I needed to find somewhere safe for my child. And so I started calling and one of the first shelters I called was Elizabeth's house. Wow. And I don't even remember who I spoke to, but the lady that I spoke to, she had so much joy in her voice. Um, she was so sweet. She gave me so much peace just over the phone. Like I had so much peace talking to her and it's a blessing. I called her that day um, because my situation with my baby son had escalated that day. Mm -hmm. And um, I really needed a place to be at safe uh, in a fast, you know, time frame. Sure. Um, so, uh, you know, she had informed me that I would get a call maybe within that week. I got a call maybe two hours later from Terry and um, they scheduled an interview with me for that Friday and I moved in by Tuesday. Yeah. But I just remember um, coming and being so welcomed by everyone. And um, for me, um, Elizabeth's house was confirmation. Like I, you know, it's it's really hard when you come out of a situation where your trust has been broken, right. you've been violated, you don't know who to trust. I just remember God telling me like, I care for you. I care for you. I care for this baby. And so it just like resonated with me with how much love, how much care. I'm, there's not one person in this program that I didn't experience love and care from. And that, I mean, just from the simplest things to just a kind word, a kind gesture, um, like making sure I was fed, making sure I had clothes when I couldn't pay my bills, like helping me with things that I, I needed help with. And I mean, you guys don't have to, you know, like the things that you guys do is you can just tell it's selfless. I genuinely felt the love, the compassion, the concern. Um, and also in the beginning of my pregnancy, um, for the first nine months, I had morning sickness so severe that yeah. I was practically bedridden. I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to carry my child. Like it was so, it was just so much. Even thinking about it, I'm like, like I need to take a breath. <laughs> Cause it was so much. And yeah. I just remember how patient everyone was with me, how loving, how, um, you know, anything that I needed, whether it was making me just a bowl of rice, like, cause I can't get down and make it myself, you know, down the stairs, like the most simplest things that, you know, people don't realize like goes a long way. I love that I'm still connected here and that if anything that I need, whether it's just advice or, um, assistance with my child, like I still am welcomed and can reach out. Um, I have a great relationship with Terry, um, the director. I look at her like my, my second mama. Cause, yeah. Like I love and adore her. And um, yeah, I, I realize that it's the people that makes the program amazing. I've had some experiences at other places, but I've never experienced anything like here before. I'm having a girl and I decided to name her Elizabeth Rose. Oh. Um, I named her after the program because how much that name like meant to me and resonated with me. It was like, I, I want her to know that she has a story. Even yeah. before she was here and formed in, you know, my womb, I'm emotional. I want her to know that, yeah. you know, you, you, you matter.